Hello and welcome back to another one of our videos. My name is Adin. I'm one half of Hustle & Hooks. My wife Mona and I uh, are part-time resellers on eBay and we document our journey. Um, this video will do a little bit of thrifting. We'll do some what's sold, some packing tips and so forth. So let's get right into it. It's a beautiful day in Michigan. Let's start this with a quick trip to uh, to Goodwill. Let's go inside see what we can find. So I just finished, uh, took me about 15 minutes to fill up the cart and go through and show you a couple things. And also I need to look up the value of, of a couple of these items. Push this projector to see if it's worth anything. I know this guy's worth a lot. We just posted one for sale. This one's in the box. So we're gonna go through some hard goods and show you what I found. So the first item is this bell and howl. I checked the condition of it. it. It looks really mint. It doesn't look beat up. It's not dusty. Uh, they sell anywhere from 40 to $70 plus shipping. Should be a decent seller. Um, it might be pretty slow and they want $6. So I'm gonna pick it up even though it might sit on the shelf for a while. Next up is this Microsoft uh, keyboard. It's the Ergonomic uh, 4000. We just listed a used one. Um, this one, I think it's used, but it has all the original packaging in it. We're gonna definitely pick it up. I think it'll sell anywhere between 40 and $80. And they want five bucks. Next up, I found two pair of decent jeans. These are True Religion made in USA. Uh, these should go for about 40 shipped. It will cost 752 to ship them. They're women's. And then this is a new brand for me. It's Mavi Jeans, a good seller. It should also go for about 35 to 40 with free shipping. And they want five bucks a piece. Next up, uh, Pamper Chef, I found two items from them. One is this cookie uh, press. If you want four bucks for it, it's all there. It should go for about 25 plus shipping. And then this little easy accent decorator, uh, again, four bucks, it should go for about 20, 25 with, with shipping on top. Uh, definitely one of those brands that you recognize uh, as we've sold some of this stuff in the past. So definitely gonna pick them up four bucks a piece. Next up is this uh, new in-package lid ease tool. Um, I'm gonna pass on it. I looked it up because it's new in package, but there's no sales history, so I'm gonna pass. Next up, this Con Air Big Pearls. Um, just looked up the cons, they want five bucks. These go anywhere from 30 to 50 plus shipping and it's brand new, so I'm gonna definitely pick it up. This next one I need to do more research on. I want seven bucks for it. These, this is a faucet by this brand, Fisser. They range anywhere from like 30 to 100, so I'm gonna take it home and do a little bit more research. I also have to figure out if it's used or if it's just an open box. Next is this uh, bird clock. These go for about 25 to 30 plus shipping. I've picked them up three times and all three times they didn't work, so I'm gonna try again for five bucks and see if this one actually works. This next item is like a plug-in TV Pac-Man game. Um, they want five bucks for it. They go for about $10 plus shipping. There's just not enough profit, so we're gonna pass on this and put it back on the shelf. Last in a card, a pair of leather Sperry's in really good condition. Need a little bit of cleaning around. Um, some heel wear, but nothing crazy. They want 10 bucks for them though. So for $10, I'm gonna pass, even though the condition's good. If these were priced at five bucks, I'd get them. They, they retail or they resell for about 25 to $30 plus shipping. So I'm gonna pass on these as well. Another day towards freedom, my friends. And poof, just like that, like magic, uh, I'm home. It's evening time, it's around 8 p.m. Uh, for the last half an hour or so, Munda and I have been listing and um, also inventorying because we have a bunch of listed items that are just hanging out in places where they don't belong. So that's what we're focusing on right now. Um, We'll probably do that for another hour or so because we just have so many things that we've already photographed and now we just need to make them available. Um, so I urge you, if you have your photos already taken, go ahead and make your items available for sale. Otherwise, no one can shop them. So that's what we're going to do next. After that, we'll show you some things that sold and we'll go from there. I did want to show you guys these two mallards, ducks, uh, whatever you want to call them. They're definitely older. They're They're wood. One of them has a Taiwan sticker on it, which is this one. So it can't, I mean, it could still be pretty old, but I wanted to mention it because it was really difficult for me to decide on a price on these two because there's really nothing 
on them that would tell me specifically what kind they are or who carved them or if they're made in USA or whatever. So I listed them both pretty high. I listed them for $50 free shipping on each. I paid five bucks each for them. And uh, we'll see. But one thing I did do is I left best offers on so that if somebody said, hey, look, I'm willing to pay 40 with free shipping, uh, I'd definitely accept that. So just something to keep in, you know, keep in mind. Sometimes it's really hard to figure out exactly what something is. If you do know a little bit more about mallards and ducks, uh, please uh, drop a comment in, in the comment section below. I'd appreciate any feedback. If you watched our mini shoe haul video, you know that I picked up some Danskos the other day. This was one of the pairs. As you can see, it does have a lot of uh, toe scuffing. And that's the before. And here's what the other one looks like now. Now this one looked just like that one, the same wear and everything. Uh, what I did was I started with some leather lotion and I like to condition them first because just like regular skin, uh, leather just absorbs everything that you're gonna do to it a lot better when it's uh, more plush and supple. And then uh, I took some, this is a chestnut brown, it's kind of got a reddish tint to it. And I just used a cloth to apply that to the toes where this is all scuffed up uh, and I rubbed that in. I went over the really dark areas maybe two times just until it looked, you know, like it was really blending in there. And then I let them dry overnight because I really wanted it to absorb in there. I didn't want to just come back and then have it wipe off. So today I came back after it was all on there and then I just took this brush and then I polished it up. Uh, as you can see, they are now ready to list. Good morning. It's uh, the next day. It's Friday morning. It's way too early, but I'm up, so it's time to go ahead and package those orders. I fell asleep pretty early last night, around 9.30, maybe even earlier than that. And I noticed this morning that we were up to 790 active listings. So Munda went to town last night while I was sleeping. So this morning, I'm going to go ahead and pull the seven orders that sold yesterday, show you what sold, what they sold for, what we paid for them. And then also we had one overnight that sold as well. I'll pull that and pack it too. Uh, stay tuned for a couple of packaging tips. So here are all of the items that sold yesterday. And this was the one overnight sale. We'll start uh, in order. So the first thing that sold was this Anthony Mantha bobblehead uh, from the Grand Rapids Griffins, which is a, an affiliate team for the Red Wings, Detroit Red Wings. I found this alongside five or six bobbleheads just like it. For $2.99 a piece at Goodwill, someone donated their collection. Uh, brand new, still in the original packaging. It sold for $30 shipped. I think it'll go first class, it's pretty light. If not, it'll be less than $8 to ship it. Next up, a couple of parts. This one came from a uh, food processor, a Hamilton Beach food processor, an older one. Uh, we've sold all of the parts so far. Uh, this is the last piece left, we paid six for everything. Um, this one sold for 20 with free shipping. It'll ship first class for about $4. Another part, this was from a uh, vintage um, Oster kitchen center part out. This is just the blender part. A couple of videos ago, you saw us sell the complete unit for 175 and also the arm only for 58 ships. So this is, this came from that 58, I'm sorry, this came from the same unit as that arm that sold for 58. So this is all profit now. It sold for $28 with free shipping. It'll cost about $9 to ship it out. Next up, these KOSS, K-O-S-S, -S, I'm, I'm never sure if I'm pronouncing that right. These are just uh, old vintage headphones. They work perfectly fine. They sold for 25 free shipping, paid a couple of bucks at a private pick, and they sold pretty quickly within about four days. Next up, this Brother AX15 um, with the manual typewriter. Uh, it's definitely a vintage unit. I'm not sure what year these are from, uh, probably late 90s, that's, that's my assumption. But this one was super stained, as you can see the different coloring, and most likely from a heavy smoker. But it did come with the uh, hardcover and the manual. I listed it low, I listed it for 50, 
free shipping and uh it sold pretty quickly and I'm, I'm happy about that because we only paid a dollar for it we took the gamble to just move it quickly due to the staining next up are these uh, two articles of clothing these express jeans we don't sell a lot of express i think what made the sale was this um ripping or tearing or whatever this this is called distressing these sold for 38 ship to they'll ship they might actually ship first class they're they're pretty thin if not they'll ship in a padded uh flat rate envelope for 752. this uh this sale really amazes me this is an old carhartt um the tags on it are super worn so i'm not sure if it's usa made or mexico made but these things are really beat up when i try to zoom in you can see all the staining uh the ripping like these things are distressed right that's that's the key term and that's what sold them uh these sold for 54 dollars shipped and we paid five bucks for them and we have three more left um but anyways I, I it's just one of those things where i think a lot of people would pass on heavily distressed items but certain ones like carhartt actually have a, a pretty good sell through rate when it comes to this stuff that's just uh really banged up um, to me, it's amazing, but, uh, you know, to someone that really loves Carhartt or maybe just is going to use them to work in, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's just, it's amazing what people will buy. Next up, uh, the last one from this batch, this ink I paid $2.99 for. Um, it, it was not expired. Ink usually has an expiration date. This one is still, is still good through next year. Um, it sold for 20 free shipping. It'll ship first class as well for about $4. So a quick flip, not an extreme, extremely profitable one. Anyway, so uh, we'll get this stuff packed up and I'll show you a couple tips. The first packing tip I wanted to share was this uh, glass jug. I'm actually going to use this priority shoe box for it. Uh, it's a good fit. It's going to be a little bit snug, which is okay. This glass is super thick and heavy duty. So I am going to bubble wrap it because there's some brittle plastic on the bottom as well, but it doesn't need a lot of protection because it's such a heavy duty piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and bubble wrap, stuff it in here, put the craft paper on the bottom and top, of course, and that should be enough. I shipped two, maybe three of these just like it without any issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way. Next up, we have these headphones. I just did a one single layer of bubble wrap around them. They have the bottom part of the box and I'm going to stuff the top with craft paper. Um, just make it nice and, and compounded or squished, whatever you want to call it. Just to give it enough padding on top and then it's not going to move much. There should be plenty to protect it. And uh, that'll be pretty straightforward. So this could be a decent amount. It's actually going to bulge up a little bit, which is fine, but it'll give it enough protection in case it's flipped around a few times uh, during handling. All right, last tip for this video. This is the bobble head. I'm just, uh, I just bubble wrapped it pretty heavily. I'm gonna put it inside of a poly bag. It'll ship first class that way. If I put it in a cardboard box, it'll weigh over a pound and then it's going to cost about two and a half more dollars to ship it out. So that's what I'm doing with that. For this brother, um, I'm not gonna show the whole process because it's the same thing as, as sending out a DVD VCR combo unit or any large electronic. The one thing that I'll do differently is I'll take craft paper and I'll stuff it in here so that the print head doesn't move or and potentially get damaged during transport. Other than that, bubble wrap it all the way around, fit it in a box, same old, same old. All right, I uh, got everything packaged up. The most expensive thing to ship, of course, was this big box. That's where the typewriter is. It was just under $20 through UPS to ship it to Indiana. Everything else was, you know, about the same as usual. Five bucks for the little stuff, $7.52, about $9 each for these two. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope it added some value to you. Um, if it did, leave a comment below. Have a great day.